What's going on guys? So today we're talking about our favorite team affinity cards for season two, chapter three, and we're going to be starting in the AL East. So when you look at this pack, we got Cal Ripken Jr., David Ortiz, Bernie Williams, Carlos Pena, and Carlos Delgado. I can tell you right now, my favorite already has been David Ortiz. I think he has a really good swing. 121, 102, 121, 111 power with 125 clutch. Building, ah, eh, who cares? He plays first base. He's going to get the job done. He's batting 500 with four home runs online. Not too bad. Uh, Cal Ripken, I don't think I really use it online. Bernie Williams online, 375. Carlos Pena, I didn't use. And Carlos Delgado, 333. But based off if everyone's swing from playing against the CPU, playing moments, playing online, David Ortiz has been my favorite one so far. After that, I could probably say Bernie Williams, switch hitter, 93 fielding, 83 speed, center fielder, could be a decent center fielder to add to your squad and a switch hitter with max contact on both sides with 93 and 98 power, and he still has 125 clutch. So if you hit well with Bernie Williams, yeah, that could be your guy, especially being a switch hitter. Moving on to the NL East, we have our choices between Greg Maddox, Mike. Is it Mike Lowell? I don't know. Tom Seaver, John Crook, and Tim Raines. Between these guys, I can tell you right now, it's probably Tom Seaver. I didn't use Mike. I didn't use really John, and I didn't use Tim Raines. Tim Raines could be good. Could be. If you like his swing, definitely got the good contact. John didn't really use him, so really can't tell you too much about him. Um, Tom Seaver, I, we just need pitching. We need pitching, and that's why I like Tom Seaver. Greg Mass could also be good. He's got the sinker, cutter, circle changeup, forcing curveball. A good, great pitching clutch, so he could be good. Um, 159 against the CPU. Didn't really use him online, so I can't really say too much about Greg Maddox. And Tom Seaver, only a couple innings pitched online, but he did okay. As far as stats, Tom Seaver, 105, 103 Ks per nine, 105 walks per nine, pitching clutch 102. Stat-wise, Greg Maddox, I think, is a little bit better right there, with the, especially with the pitching clutch. But this depends on how you use them, what pitch mixes you like. Do you like the four-seam slider, sinker, curve, and changeup? Or do you like the sinker, circle, cutter, four-seam curveball? And who do you pitch the best with? You also might, might like Mike or John or Tim. But based on who I use the most, I like Tom Seaver in this pack. AL Central, here we come. Mini Minoso, Larry Doby, Tony Clark, Johnny Damon, and Tony Oliva. Uh, obviously on this one, Tony Clark, all day. If you guys saw him in the BR with his gold card, I believe it was. Absolutely amazing swing. 109, 125, 104, 106 power. I hit terribly with him, but I liked his swing while I was doing it. And it was more me. It wasn't the card. I can just tell by using the card as a great swing. And when you put your bat on the ball, it goes far. And Larry Doby is actually my second pick, to be honest with you. Uh, I like both of their swings. And Larry, 114, 104 contact, 112, 118 power, 105 clutch. He can get the job done. A little slower in the field, but if you want a strong bat, Larry is the man. So I would go Tony and Larry in this pack for your first two choices. Moving on, NL Central. Let's go. We got Ryan Sandberg, Johnny Bench, Ryan Braun, Ralph Kiner, and Orlando Cepeda. I loved, uh, I think, Ryan Braun's 93 overall. So I'm going to have to say Ryan Braun is my favorite out of this pack. Uh, batting 556 with them online with one home run, three doubles. Uh, Ralph Kiner, don't really, never really used him. Orlando Cepeda, I didn't really use him. Johnny Bench, I sucked with. Didn't get a hit with Ryan Sandberg, 385 online. So he could be a decent choice uh, based off of this, their swings. But I think Ryan Braun has a great swing, and I enjoyed using him when I did. AL West, Roy Oswalt, Torrey Hunter, Raleigh Fingers, Raul Ra Ibanez, and Michael Young. Michael Young might be a sleeper in this one. However, uh, we need bullpen, right? Raleigh Fingers is a great choice. But my favorite pick, in, in my opinion, was a sleeper pick. Tory Hunter loved his swing. 
from the first swing that I had with him in a moment or like a CPU mission or whatever it was, I was like, oh my God, I really like this guy's swing. And he's batting 417 online with me with two home runs and three doubles and 12 at-bats. I, I love his swing. Great swing. We also need bullpen arms. So my second choice would be Raleigh Fingers for sure. Uh, the rest of them, maybe a Michael Young sneaks in there. I I liked him versus the CPU, I guess. So he had a good swing against the CPU. Because some guys, I can't hit the ball even against the CPU in a moment. So, But Torrey Hunter is the guy from, out of this pack, in my opinion. And finally, let's not forget about the NL West. Steve Finley, Matt Holliday, Duke Snyder, Trevor Hoffman, Rich Aurelia. Well, we need bullpen arms, so Trevor Hoffman could always be a good choice for you. But as far as a hitter, I would have to go Steve Finley. He's going to have the bet, one of the best swings out of all these guys. I didn't really get to use them online, but I definitely use them a little bit. 113, 104 contact, 104, 106 power, 111 clutch. Uh, great swing, good stats. Is Are they the best? No. Matt Holiday's really good, too. I actually like Matt Holiday cards. So this one's kind of tough for me. Steve Finley, Matt Holiday, both good. Duke Snyder, I think I played good with against the CPU. Maybe I like his swing against the CPU. 722, obviously, against the CPU, very easy. But, man, was I hitting moonshots with Duke Snyder. He could be that guy. He could be him. But Matt Holiday, 125, 119 contact, 105, 103 power, 123 clutch. Him and Steve Finley are just so good. Matt Holiday got the statistics. Steve Sw Steve Finley got the bat. He got the swing. It, it just feels good. Imagine Steve Finley with Matt Holiday's attributes. Oh my! And Richard Rodia, I'm sorry, you're, you're just over here. I I don't know. You got the stats, but I don't know if you got the swing. Let me know if you guys hit well with Richard Rodia. But those are my top choices for Team Affinity Season Two, Chapter Three. Let me know yours in the comments down below if they're different, if they're the same. Why? You know, maybe you just hit good with that card. Maybe you like his swing. It is what it is. We all hit better with some cards. I can't hit with Mike Trout. I can't hit with Stan. And I can't hit with Aaron Judge for the life of me. So that it is what it is when it comes to those cards. But let me know what your guys' favorite cards are in Team Affinity Season 2, Chapter 3. If there's a card you want to see gameplay of, Leave in the comments down below too. You have to say, hey, I really want to see you use that card. I want, to, I want to see you try this card. Can you try them in a video? Absolutely. And be sure to subscribe. Turn notifications on. Like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.